And ABC's legal contributor Brian Buckmeyer joins me now for more on that. Brian, this class action lawsuit hinges on the definition of infertility. How challenging do you think this legal argument will be for the plaintiffs? I think it could be challenging in the sense of you have to kind of look around at everyone else, specifically uh, single women and women in lesbian relationships. Uh, those, I would argue, for this couple are women or people who are similarly situated, but might be getting a benefit that these individuals aren't. Now, if it's based on infertility, that's going to be very difficult because these two men are not technically infertile. Uh, the argument is, is, is that they need assistance through IVF to help. And so the changing of that definition may be an uphill battle if they're the only ones uh, that are being affected in this specific way because it's not an equal protection issue. The couple uh, says that they have spent over $120,000 out of pocket on the IVF process. Could they be reimbursed for that if the court rules in their favor? They could be. It wouldn't necessarily be considered reimbursement. It would be considered damages. That's what they had to do out of pocket to get where they are in terms of attempting to try to use IVF or other procedures that their policy doesn't cover. So the answer is yes, but it's not necessarily reimbursement. It's more about damages. What precedent do you think this case could set in New York and elsewhere? I think this can open up IVF treatment, not just to same-sex couples, but to other individuals who may be looking to IVF for other reasons than infertility. I would give the example of, even, even personally, my wife and I have investigated IVF because uh, we are genetic carriers for something called spinal muscular atrophy one, where if we naturally have a child, there's a 25% chance that child may not see their second birthday. We are not technically infertile, but IVF could be a great option for us. So I would say this isn't just about the LGBT community, it's about all communities attempting to find safe ways to have families and raise children. All right, ABC News legal contributor Brian Buckmeyer, thank you.